Hey guys, so a little while ago I had put in the Innovate Motorsports wideband air fuel ratio gauge and sensor with a little, the little uh, computer unit. Anyway, the uh, sensor had died on me, so I figured I would make a video just showing how to install this unit and how to install or change out the uh, sensor. So as we can see here, sensor is dead. Just not doing anything so I'm gonna show you all how to install it and then how to put in the new uh, sensor okay guys so when you order it it'll come in a box about like this you'll have your uh, instructions each thing will come in a bag very nicely done so first of all you'll have an eight foot sensor cable that is this cable right here You'll just want to run that through the firewall and then along under the car to your exhaust to wherever you'll have it tapped in. And then from there, you'll have your computer unit, which just plugs right into that cable. There it is. And then on the other end of this computer, you have your wires. Now, depending on your specific car and vehicle, you'll have to wire this up accordingly. Here is the new sensor, guys. This is the Bosch LCU 4.9. Uh, this controller uses the 4.9. You can use the 4.2 also, but you'll have to recalibrate the computer. And this is the corresponding number, model number, or whatever, for the, uh, the 4.9. All right, so we have the car up on a jack. Have gravel, so we got some cardboard. Guys, always remember to put a jack stand under your car when you're working on it. It's not worth getting killed. Okay, so this is where I have mine tapped in. It is two feet down below the turbo, which is what they recommend. Let's see if we can show you that. There you go. Got to loosen up. Right there is where I have my sensor connected to the wire. I went the wire up along here and then it goes down under the intercooler and through the firewall. I'm going to go ahead and connect this, connect this. Okay, so we have the sensor disconnected from the cable down at the other side. So now we're going to turn the car on just to the on position. It'll light up green and then it'll sit there and start flashing the red. That just means it's an, it's an error message. So we have to leave that like that for about 30 seconds. And then after that, we can turn the car back off. Okay. We'll turn the car off. Now we need to get the new sensor. We need to take that off the top. I'm just gonna feed that down through there. So I'm gonna get this and plug this in. It's a little tricky, one hand. Oh, and there we go. Now our plug in. Okay, so now that the sensor is plugged in, but we have left the sensor itself hanging in free air, we're gonna put the car back on the on position. It's gonna come up green and it's gonna flash for a little while. So now we just gotta wait till it lights up solid green. That means that the calibration for the sensor is completed. This may take between 30 to 60 seconds. Okay, there we go. And it's green. And as we can see, the gauge is now working again. So we're going to turn it off and this uh, connect the sensor. Okay, guys, with the car off, we have uh, unplugged the sensor. You can do that with the car off. So we can go ahead and screw this in. get it hand tight and then we just gotta grab our pliers and you want to get it nice and snug all right next step we'll plug this back in and then we should be good to go so once again we're just gonna plug these in together which is quite tricky with one hand So 
now we're gonna just run the wire so it's not close to the exhaust and then we should be good to go. All right guys, since there is now plugged in, so we're gonna turn the car back on. Gonna turn it all the way on this time. So the light's gonna blink, that just means it's calibrating. And it will be a few seconds before that turns to what it should say. That's normal. Again, it takes about 30 seconds to calibrate. And there we go. And the car has just been turned on, so I'm still idling a little rough. But, as you can see, the unit is now working. So now we'll just tuck all this back away, and we'll be done. Okay, car is starting to warm up, so idle, so drop it back down to normal. And as you can see, the gauge is steadied out quite nicely. Alright guys, that's how you do it. Please give me a like and a sub. I'll be posting more videos as I do more stuff to this car over the summer. Thanks. One more thing guys, we also painted this black as you can see. We're really happy with how it came out actually. Not positive if we'll even keep it in there long, but for now, it looks a whole lot better. Alright, thanks guys.